is here and we are live. Hi friends, how's it going? This is uh, Tabletop Tonight. Uh, my name is Ruel Gaviola. I'm joined by my stepdaughter, Lauren. Hello. Uh, Michelle has tonight off. She's actually, what is she doing? She's taking like a class or something. Right? Yeah, a dumbbell class. Dumbbell? Or, or a kettlebell. <laughs> a kettlebell. kettlebell. <laughs> Michelle's taking a kettlebell class. And uh, so she's hanging out doing that thing. So me and Lauren are going to play a great game tonight. This is one of my favorite Euro games. It's a game called The Castles of Burgundy by Stefan Feld. A few, probably, I think like months ago now, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about it. We played Notre Dame by Stefan Feld. So this is actually considered his like most popular game, which I really enjoy. It's another point salady type game where there's lots of ways to score points, but it is a standard Euro, Euro game. In fact, the theme is very dry. The colors are pretty bland. That's just the way Stefan Feld rolls apparently. So um, on my board, you may have noticed there's, there may, you may notice some little stickers everywhere. Those are for my benefit because the colors are close. I, I stickered them up to help my, my red, green, green color blindness. Uh, Amanda Panda, thank you um, for doing all your hard work as the moderator or the Amanda Raider, as we like to call her here on Tabletop Tonight. Uh, Lauren and I just hanging out. Um, so this is your first time playing, right, Lauren? Yes. Okay, so went over a quick rules teach before. I think the best way to do this is just sort of jump in, start playing, and if there's questions or anything in the um throw them in the comments and i'll answer them as we go book of nerds is here thank you john you number one um we are playing with one house rule this is something that when i learned it uh from uh, my friend mike at my local gaming group normally in castles of burgundy you would take off um number of tiles from all the depots right so the ones that say three and four in a two-player game you're just using the number two Excuse me. So it's a little tighter. It's you have a few fewer options um, throughout the depot and also in the or depots and also in the middle. Mike just said, "Hey, why don't we just play with all of the tiles out there? Gives you more choices." And I liked it. So I haven't played it that way in a while. So let's let's try it tonight. Um, we're gonna have a bunch of tiles. So that is our one house rule tonight. Before we continue, I would like to thank our sponsor, who I forgot to thank last night, um, Van Ryder Games. They are sponsor our videos here on Tabletop Tonight. We truly appreciate it. Thank you, Van Ryder Games. So, Lauren, um, we each have a Silverling, I believe. Yes. Okay, we have our dice, and um, I've been randomly chosen to go first, so I'm gonna roll the white die as well. Um, and we both roll at the same time, and we can get ready. And then one player does their actions and the other player does their Castles of Burgundy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here tonight. So I have a five and a two, and I rolled a two. So this one goes here, and then I can start take my actions. Whoops, this should be over there. And let us know. Have you guys played Castles of Burgundy? Do you like it? Yay, nay? Let us know in the comments, please. Thank you for joining us. Um, whoops, this one's supposed to be here. It's all the stuff from the sample game. All right, so I've got a five and a two. I am going to take, um, hmm. I'm going to take, uh, so I can take from either the two here or the five here. Let's take the five. So taking five, goes in my storage space. And then I'm gonna take, uh, what's that building do? So we have our little cheat sheets here on the side. Um, to let us know what the buildings do. That building there, is that City Hall? No, that is uh, the bank. Ooh, okay. I'll take this one here for a second action. Okay. Amanda, yes, uh, Castle Burgundy, fantastic game. Plays two to four, I think it's best at two. So that's my turn. Lauren, you may use your dice. Okay, I rolled a one and a two. Um, I will use my one to get that blue tile. Okay, Lauren gets that into her storage. And um, that's all I can do, right? Uh, for your first, you can do it again. You can take from the number two, or that was number two, one. Yeah. You can use the two to do that action, or you may use it to place it. Oh, okay. Actually, I'll go ahead and place it. Okay. Um, so I use my number one. I'll use my number two mm -hmm. to, oh, that works out perfectly. Yep. Nice. So Lauren has uh, used hers to place a... Uh, blue tile onto uh, it's the shipping action and the sh ship action you get to advance in the turn order so you go first next turn cool and you gain a good on a chosen depot so on any of these depots you can choose a good there's only one so you will grab the number five All right. and you're gonna place it in your hold if you have the space if not you, get, you may discard one of them 
Yeah. Okay. So Lauren will go first now. She gets to roll this die here. Okay. That's the end of turn. That's a, that's all. That's how fast the turns are in this game. Cool. Okay. So mm -hmm. Lauren's rolling. She's rolled a five. So oh this good goes to the fives. five. There. Three fives, actually. Wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that is done. And then you go first with your two fives. Okay. Well. These are the tiles you may buy. Those tiles here. So each of the tiles, uh, when you place them, so you're basically trying to fill up your little um, estate here. Uh, let me move this up a little bit. Your estate here, and you're placing tiles and give you actions and or bonus points or ongoing abilities. So in this case, Lauren can choose from any three of these tiles. The yellows are typically um, ongoing bonuses or scoring points at the end. And that is uh, number two in the rule book here. So the yellow, number two, is the player who adds this tile to their estate receives one worker tile from the general supply in addition to the usual silverling for each of their mines at the end of each phase. Okay, so at the end of the phase, however mines we get, um, we're going to get silverlings. These buildings here give you special um, one-time bonuses. When you place a building, uh, this one is the bank. No. The warehouse. I the think. warehouse, right? No. This City is Hall? City Hall. You immediately add any one tile from your storage space to the estate adjacent for free. Okay. So normally you get tiles, you place them in your holding slot or your storage spot, and that holds up to three. And then on an additional action, you can um, place it with the, uh, the uh, correct die. This one will allow you immediately to place one for free. And finally, we have this here, which is that the bank? No. I think it's the church. The church. No. Oh, no, no, no. Boarding house. Boarding house. Oh, that one's cool. You place it and you immediately take four worker tiles from the supply. That was the plan. Okay. So you're spending one of your number five dice. Yep. To take the working or yep. what's it called? Boarding uh, house. Yeah. Boarding house will go into storage and then I will use my other five die to place it adjacent to my. Uh, Dang it. Nice. Tile. So uh, Lauren's placed that and she gets four worker tiles immediately. There you go, Lauren. Nice. And what the worker tiles are great, uh, these help mitigate die, uh, bad dice rolls. So it's either a plus one or a minus one to any die. At any time, you may use any number of these. And also, you can go uh, up or you can roll over. So six to one, one to six. And there's Panda. Dang it. <laughs> uh, so I've rolled a five and a two. And Lauren took the ones I wanted. So <laughs> uh, five, that's what building is that? I always mess up you. Boarding. No, you took the boarding house. That's City Hall. Uh, number two, I've got... Uh, is that City Hall? Yeah. Whack. Whack, whack, whack. All right. This one is also City Hall, right? Is this City Hall? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. So I've got a five or two. So I have to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the number five to get two worker tiles. Anytime you can spend a uh, die to get two worker tiles, folks. And, oh, Book of Nerds, you got, you got the pressure on you, uh, Lauren. Hashtag uh, Team Lauren. Uh, so I got two worker tiles. With the one of my new worker tiles, I am going to use this to bump this up to a three, which allows me to place City Hall. Right there. City Hall allows me to place any one of my tiles from storage into the estate. So I'm taking this one from storage and placing the state. Wait. So that's the mine. But it's blue. Oh, blue. Sorry. That was right there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't want to put City Hall in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thanks to City Hall, I'm able to place this one for free. That's the end of that round. All Next. All right. All right. Uh, so, Lauren, you're still in the lead, so you get to roll all three dice. I get to roll these. And I think Book of Nerds briefly mentions uh, the app for this game. Yeah. Which I'm very curious about. Yeah. I have not played the app yet. Four and five, so, so you roll the a six. Yeah. Six goes here. Okay. Um, then I go first. I have a one and a four. Mm -hmm. Um, what is that? The the beigey one on uh, depot one. Depot one. This one here is a warehouse. Sell one kind of goods from your storage without using a die. So that's the one. Remember how you have to sell, um, use a die to sell goods. This one, once you place it, you get to sell any good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know, um, in Depot 1, mm -hmm. I'll take that green one. This one? Uh, to the right. Yeah. Oh, the animals. Yeah. Those look like two cows. 
All right. All right. Um, I'll go into my storage and then I'll use my Lucho AB. Four. Thank you for hanging out, my friend. And welcome to everyone, as always. Amanda, we got John, we got Lucho. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, you're done, Lauren? Yeah. Okay. And so. I, I placed my green tile too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So you immediately score points. Cool. So two that's points. two yep. for my two cows. Yeah. Two, two points for two cows. Well done. All right. Uh, I am going to go with. Uh, number five. What's that? City Hall again? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take another city. Uh, using number five to take another city hall. Right? Is that city hall? That is. And then uh, with my four die, I'm going to add a worker. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Got all excited. Uh, my four. What is this one? This is carbon. Ooh, I'm going to take this one here. I'll take a carbon as a workshop. That's the end of the round. Uh, go ahead and roll again, Lauren. I got, oh, another five and a two. One, four. Oh, oh, I rolled the same numbers as last time, too. Okay. Um, but the white die this time is four. Four. Okay, so that goes there. Okay. Okay. Um, so I have one and four. Um... On the depot for number four, I'll take the green tile. Oh, actually, actually, yeah, the green tile. Okay, looks yeah. like some chickens. Two chickens, indeed. Um, it'll go in my storage, and then I'll use my one die to place it. Okay, so you score two more points for those chickens. All right, done? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, right. I'm Now I'm going to... Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. So I'm going to use my number five. To place my city hall here. The city hall allows me to add immediately add for free um, another building. So I'm going to add it here. And that is a carpenter's workshop. So I immediately take one building, a brown top from one of the depots. So I'm going to take, um, let's take this building here, I guess. Yeah. Wow, I can't do that one. No. Oh, I'm going to take this one. Daryl with one R is here. Hey, Daryl with one R. Welcome. Okay, so that was my freebie, right? And now I've got this other die, number two. Um, oh, so I completed this one here. That's one section. So I get um, one point plus 10, 11 points. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, for that. Because uh, you completed that, and I get the one point um, for this. That's a section, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I hope I did that right. Yeah. Uh, I've got a two left, so I'm going to take um, this castle here for the number two. All right. Uh, Lauren's still first. I rolled a six and a five. I have a six and a two, and the white die is a two. Two. Okay, so that was there. Okay. Two. What's that That tile on Depot 2? Depot 2, it is uh, City Hall. So that's what I've been using to get free stuff, basically. Okay. Some freebies. I don't have anything in my storage, though. Um, and then Depot 6 is full. Six, two. Um, depot six, I'll take the green tile, uh, the light green one with the sheep. Ooh, you get a lot of animals, Lauren. Lots of animals. And then um, into my storage, and then I'll place it with my. There's Michelle. Guy. Hope class went well. Oh, um, hi, Mom. <laughs> you done, Lauren? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to. Oh, wait, I get four points for my four sheep. Nice. Uh, so eight. Wow, nice. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to place my castle here with a number six, and the castle gives me a virtual die. So with that, I'm going to make it a, um, let's do my virtual die as a one. So that goes there. This ability now I get uh, anytime I take the take goods action. Is that it? Uh, 13. 13. Anytime I take a 
worker tiles, I get uh, an additional um, silverling. Okay. Totally forgot about my worker tiles. What was, oh, okay. So I, that was my first die. My second die, I'm going to use it to get worker tiles. And because of my yellow ability, I get a silverling. And I have two silverlings now. I, that allows me to use two silverlings to buy anyone from here. So I'm going to use those two to get. This is three for every good, I think. Uh, well, that was number 15. Uh, 15, 15. Oh, the ones that I've sold. Oh. That's pretty good. Number 12, I might like. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take, yeah, I'll take this one here. All right. That's the end of the round. Um, I think Book of Nerds said that um, the app is good because you can look up what the tiles are. Oh, yeah. That's the toughest part. Again, these uh, everything's so small in this game. I, I, I This is the older version. I know the new version is supposed to be a little more bright. And from what, what I've heard, it's still not totally colorblind friendly. But, hey, we do what we can. Um, okay. Uh, that's the end of the round. Uh, Lauren, do we score any other points? I don't think we've completed any like, sections or anything. Right. Okay. So what we do is clear out all this stuff and then we reseed it with uh, new tiles. Okay. So take all this out. Uh, the goods tiles stay. Oops. Okay. And I have these marked for colorblind friendliness with the little stickers on some of them. Um, and yeah, for all those of you who just joined us, thank you for hanging out. This is Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel, and this is Lauren, my co-host for tonight. And we are playing Castles of Burgundy, the classic from Stefan Feld. Uh, really, I, this, again, a game I truly enjoy. Let me put this here. Okay, Lauren, I haven't scored too many points yet. Uh, and now we're going to reseed these. So, Lauren, if we just match up the colors, like blues go on blues. Okay. Just, some of the colors, if, if you have trouble with them, I don't know if you will. They should say like B is buildings, A is animals, M are mines. Okay. Here. Yeah. I'll do some animals. Animal, animals, animals. Okay, got those animals. And buildings, there's a bunch of buildings over here. So building, building, building. Building. Is this light gray one? Um, uh, mines. Uh, this one here. I got oh. the light grays. And then we need a couple more yellows, please. Okay. Here's mine. Two more yellows, please. Thank you. Oh. Or three, three more yellows. Yeah. Yeah. And then one more uh, building. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And we, yeah. And since you're still in for, uh, first, you will roll we'll, we'll the white one. Oh we'll go with three and a two. Um, the white die is one. Okay, so we take this one, place it in the one. So now, oh, okay, there it goes out. And I rolled two sixes. Okay, don't forget your worker tiles. Oh, yes. Yeah, those always help. Okay. Actually, I'm very close to finishing this light green section, so I will hold on to my two sixes. Okay. Um, I'll take that light green, the, the animals one. Okay, for a yeah. six. And okay. it'll go on this. Wait, side. so that goes in your storage? Storage, and then I'll use my six. Okay, so you use both of them. Okay. Yeah. Um, how many, what animal was that? Pigs? They're pigs. Two pigs? Uh, yes. Two points. Two. All right, nice. Um, oh, you use both of your dice, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, number 12 is. Where did I just sort of be used to take <laughs> uh, So I'm going to use the number two to place this yellow piece here. This allows me to have a plus one or minus one when I take uh, tiles from here, from any depot. Um, so I can do a plus one or a minus one as if I've used a worker tile. And then, um, oh, I forgot. At the end of the round, last round, we're supposed to get a silverling if you have a mine built. Do you have any mines? No? I don't think so. Okay. And then my number three, um, I'm going to take this tile here because this one gives me a plus one or a minus one. So this is a, 
three plus one there. I forgot to put these tiles out. These are the um, middle, the black market, they call it. And you can buy from here if you have two silverlings. Okay. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Um, wait, did I do both of them? Both dice? I did a two. Um, I used the two. Well, this was a three. What did I use the two? Oh, for to place it. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, next next action or next turn. I rolled a four and a six. Oh my gosh, I rolled two sixes again. Wow. What's the white one? Five. Five. Okay, so now the five space here. If you take goods, it's a four and a five that you get. Okay. Um so I'm gonna use two workers. Okay. One is going to add one to six to make it a one. Okay. And I'll take the the animals one from depot one. Oh, Lauren's going heavy on the animals. Thank you. And then I will use a second worker to decrease this six to five to wow. finish my animals. Nice. Section. How many, what was the last one you just played? Sheep? Oh, two sheep. Yes. Oh, but I have four sheep already. So it's six sheep. Six sheep. Nice, Lauren. So 16. And you have finished that section on your board. It is five spaces, so that is 15 points, plus this, 23 points. Wow. Nice one, Lauren. And I hear a pug, so let's let the pug in. All right. All right. Bruno's going to be here. Um, I think he knows you're playing the animal strategy, as John said, so What's that means... Let's Pugzilla. Yeah. Come on, Pugzilla. Hi. Hi, Bruno. Um, so Lauren is gone. I'm going to go now. I've got a four and a six that I need to do here. Uh, let's go with... Um, I'm going to do this six here to grab the castle. I'm going to use the four to place the castle, and it gives me a free number. Uh, that free number will be, will be a one, and I place the mine there. Do I get anything for the mine right away? Uh, at the end of each phase, produce this or one. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Uh, we roll again. Lauren is still in the lead, so or she's in first in turnover, so she will roll. The white guy. Hey, Bruno. It's a very heavy pug. There he is. Even though he's lost weight, he's still a little heavy. Yeah. Uh, Lauren, you get to roll all dice. All right, Bruno. Hey, Bruno. Oh, my gosh. I keep rolling doubles. Okay, so it's a two. So now there's a six and a five good in the number two hold. You want to say hi to the people? Say hi, Bruno. <laughs> all right. So, Lauren, you're Oh, right. yes. Uh, okay, Debo three... I will take that uh, in Depot 3. I'll take that blue piece. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, it'll go in my storage. And then maybe I'll take a, a goods piece. Um, oh, that, oh my gosh, that'd also be from 3, um, which is non existent right now. Mm -hmm. So maybe. Now, to get the goods piece, that's where you lay down the ship and then you get goods on whatever, which one ever you want. Oh. Yeah. So when you lay the ship down, you get to choose one of these depots and take those tiles from there. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. What are we going to do? What are you going to do, Benz? What are we going to do? Do you know? <laughs> no, you don't know how to play this game. Okay. Um, <laughs> what are my other options uh, if I can't place a tile? If you can't place a tile, then you may take a tile. Oh, I can take another tile. Yeah, you can you can have up to three. You can place a tile or you can sell goods. So, again, if you had a three, you can sell that one for victory points and a silverling. Okay. You can take worker tiles. Um, or what? if you have two silverlings, you can get from here, which you don't have right now. Bruno, yeah. Oh, Bruno. Hey, Boons. What is that? That... Uh, beigey piece on depot three. On depot three, this is uh, the market. Immediately take one animal or ship tile from the board and add it to your storage. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, so Lauren's taking that with her three. And then I immediately take. No, uh, when you place it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You always okay. have to place the tile there. Okay. okay. You've used both of your threes, right? Yes. Okay. All right, that's Lauren's turn. Uh, my turn now. I am going to um, bump up this four to a five so I can get a mine uh, from here. Okay. So I'll use a worker tile. Then I'm going to bump this four down to a three for another worker tile. Uh, I mean, for another for a three so I can place a mine here. I've completed the mine section. That is six points plus our round, so 14 points, so 25. Okay. 
Looks like uh, Barbara Allen's in the house. Thank you for joining us, Barbara. Um, and then I think, yeah, that's it for my turn. Uh, Lauren, we get to roll again. And okay. go. All right, two fives again. Three, two, uh, white five. is five. Okay. All right, uh, Lauren, Ooh. you're up first. <laughs> Dang, here we are. Is that a raid? Raid. Thank you, friends. Welcome. Welcome. I'm assuming uh, this is from, yeah, it's got to be from <laughs> the Brothers Burp. Thank you, guys. We love you. There's Monique. I see so Twin Flower. I see everybody out there. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, everybody. So good to see you. Who who did well on the uh, on um, the uh, quiz show there? I that that is so amazing, right? I love love those quiz shows. I, I wish I could have uh, stayed for the rest of it. It's so good, so smart. I, I see. Yes, brothers, Mark. We love you guys. Thank you. Hi, Crystal. Crystal Fisher, forty second place. That the one that I participated in, I was so bad. I got one out of ten questions right. Oh my gosh! It was either B movies or board games, which is the title. So you're supposed to guess: is it a B movie or is it a board game? I thought uh, every every single one I got wrong, except for one. It's <laughs> oh, hilarious. No. Thank you guys for hanging out. We we're playing Castles of Burgundy, classic Euro game from Stefan Feld. First time Lauren's playing it. Uh, I played it a bunch of times. Hopefully, I can get all the rules right. We are playing two players with a, a house variant that a friend of mine taught me. You, normally, you would take off tiles that you know didn't correspond to the number like three or four. But in our two-player um, variant, we keep all the tiles out, so you have a little more choice. So yeah, now Barry, that was your round. Yeah, that was your your round. That was so much fun, man. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Lauren, you're up. Okay. Uh, is, uh, um, three and two. What are the beige tiles in Depot 2? In Depot 2, you have the um, Watchtower, which is just straight four victory points. Oh. And you also have the, uh, what is this? This is Carpenter's Workshop. Carpenter Workshop. Take one uh, brown tile from one of the depots and add it to your storage. OK. Maybe I'll do the Watchtower. Watchtower, yeah. all right. So that goes in your storage. Thank you. And now. Agreed. Castle Burning is so, so good. Love this game. That was in Depot 2? Yes. I'll put the Watchtower in Depot 3. Okay. Or uh, not Depot 3, but... Space 3? Yeah. Okay. And I believe that completes a section for me. Wow. So Lauren scores, uh, it's 1, right? Yeah. So 1 plus, uh, we're 8. So 9 more points for Lauren. Lauren is crushing it. Brothers Murph, thank you guys again for rating. Truly appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you all. Uh, did you say this was Lauren's first play? Yes, this is Lauren's first time playing it. Looks like she's uh, mastered it already. Um, my go. I've got a five. I've got two fives, and I have a couple of workers left. So do I get this one? That is the um, bank. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to take number five here, um, the bank. And then I'm going to – I want to place this bank somewhere. Um, I'm going to place a bank using another worker to make it a six. Um, that bank goes, oh man, I've already screwed up. I totally forgot the buildings. You can only have one of each type of building in a section. So this one shouldn't be here. Sorry, Lauren. That's okay. <laughs> I, I'm good. Okay. Hi, Susie. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'll, I'll try to make it up somehow. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. So for the, um, I might only get two of these here. Then as a free action, I can um, buy from the middle. So I'm going to use this free action here to grab one of these. And that goes my hold. And that's that. Uh, Lauren, you're still ahead, so let's roll the white die. All right. Keep Games it of Fire, yes. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out. Um, Brothers Mercy, said I'm cheating already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for hanging out with us, Atticus. Appreciate it. Uh, mine is a one and a three. And Lauren's got six and four, and the two has been rolled. So, wow, a bunch of goods over there. Okay. Um, <laughs> Cast roll. <laughs> yes, thank you, Games of Fire. Much much love to you all. Thank you. Six. <laughs> bathtub Love. That, that, did you know Bathtub Love was ac an actual board game? What? <laughs> That's what I was, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought, thought so too. I voted for a movie. Apparently, it's not. A, it's an actual game. Um, yeah, Lauren, okay. six and a four. Um, so I'm going to use one of my worker. Or actually, wait, no. Uh, first, I'm going to 
use my four die to get the water from Depot 4. Okay. And then that will go into my storage, use the four. I'm going to use uh, a worker to bump down the, or bump up the six to a one and then place a water here. <laughs> oh, so many funny comments. I love it. Chuck, the castle's a Chuck Norris. <laughs> Uh, did you, which ones did you have to place last? Here. Okay. So I place a ship. So you place a ship, you get to choose any one of these holes to take goods. Uh, I will take. So you want something with a six and a four, huh? Uh, or a three. Uh, a six, four, three, yeah. Okay, here's a four, a four, a six. Maybe I'll take three. the six. Six? Okay. Yeah. So again, you must, you can only keep the ones that are similar types. And yes, there it is. Chuck, wor Chuck Norris gets the infinite workers. <laughs> Okay, so you're good now, right? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to also, okay, I want to take um, this one here, the three. I'm going to bump it down to a two with my final worker, and I'm going to place that ship there. That allows me to take goods. I'm going to take this Ooh. these goods here. So five and a one. This one gets discarded. And then I'm going to use my one to sell goods. So I'm going to sell these two goods. I get two points per. Uh, that's four points. And then I get a silverling. Okay. Uh, so that was that. Uh, that's the end of the phase. Great. Uh, Mike's got a rehearsal. Got to drive. Love you guys. Thank you, brothers. Merck. Be safe. Drive safe. And have a good rehearsal, Mike. Um, nice. Wow. You guys are amazing. Seriously. I can't even keep up with the comments. Uh, this one here. Night, bros. Thanks, bro. Yeah, drive safely, guys. Be safe out there. In fact, everyone be safe out there, please. It, it's crazy. Yeah. Slackfish. Yay. Sleepy gang. Woo! Uh, end of the phase. So we do this stuff again. We're going to clean up here. Oh, 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 my God. There goes Bruno. Hey, Bruno just jumped away. <laughs> uh, these are going to go here. Uh, Lauren, if you can just start reseeding everything. Oh, I think Bruno wants to go out. Yeah. Bye, Bruno. I think he might have to be going to number one or two, folks. So don't do it in the game room, Bruno. He knows. Bye, Bruno. Um, these stay here. And then we reseed everything. So boom, boom, and boom. We rate you separately. Nice. Thank you guys for rating. Appreciate it. Yeah, separately. Wow. Two rays. This is awesome. Did I see Crixie in there? Crixie, I thought I saw your... Your name up there. I sorry, I don't see it. Bon, Bonza Nader. Woo! Bruno did magically coincide with brothers. Yeah, hey, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, so that's brown animals. Oh, I don't know why I'm putting them face down. Yeah, if I can just place them face up. Oh, let me get the the black market clears as well. And um, I'll just put these over here. Oh, you have the silver one. Yeah, silvers go there. And um, we'll continue. I'll put the black market up. Can you get the blues and the yellows, please? Three, four, five. Oops. <laughs> oh, I can't reach all the way <laughs> okay. over there. I'll put the blue in there. Thank you again for joining us, everybody. We appreciate you guys spending the part of your night with us here on Tabletop tonight. We play a different game every night at 7.30 Pacific, and um, tonight we're playing a classic, the Castles in Burgundy from our friend, well, not our friend, but uh, Stefan Feld. Um, I need a building and a building and a building. Oh, I need another animal, too. Animal and a mine. Where's the mines at? Mines are right here. Animal. Whoops. I need one of those extendo arms. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you for subscribing, Bonsai Nader. Much appreciated. Much love to you. Virtual high five. Um, Lauren is still in the lead. Man, I have not scored any kind of points this game. I, I'm terrible. Oh, don't you get something for your mine? I though? do. Thank you. So each mine, I get a um, silverling. So I get three for three. <laughs> One, two, three. You know, go, go gadget arm. <laughs> nice. Okay, what are you guys playing tonight? Anyone playing games or if you're eating, I don't know what time zone you're in, but let us know in the comments. Oh, rolling dice. Uh, four and a two for me, and Lauren has. Also a four and a two. 
And the white die is a six. Oh, no problem, Barbara. Thanks for dropping by. Um, six. So this one goes to the six. Okay. And you're up. Four and two. Uh, shoot. Wait, what is this? Okay, so maybe I'll place um, this thing, the market. Oh, Animal Crossing. Nice. I got to admit, Bonsai, I've never played Animal Crossing. I'm so far behind on everything here. Uh, does the game table have a channel? I don't think so, John. So I immediately take one animal or ship tile from the board and add it to my storage space. Correct. So can I pull it from anywhere? Yep. Um, hey, Nate. Thanks for uh, stopping by, man. Okay. A water one. Another water. Okay. And then... <laughs> nice. Yeah. I had too much tea the other night. It totally kept me up. Is there uh oh shoot. Which one? I want a mine. A mine right here. There's yeah. A mine here and a mine here. I'll take the mine at four. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to go? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to Hey Bruno's oh, back. Oh my gosh. What is up with his dog? And he's like his hug. Yeah. Hey Bruno. Oh. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> uh I'm gonna go with what number is that? Twenty. What are you doing? Oops. Are you gonna come here? Okay. You're gonna lay down. Bubble tea sound is yeah. Thank you, Nate. Um, what am I gonna do, folks? I think I want to finish off this yellow section. So I am going to. <laughs> the other Lots of love and scratches to Bruno. Bruno, Bruno. Okay. Oh, I don't have any of those. Darn it. Why don't I do this? Um, so I want to start building the animal section. No, I want the buildings. I got to get buildings. I, I, I sort of owe you like a makeup for one of the buildings I, I screwed up on. So, tell you what, I'm going to take the number two, take this yellow one, and I'm going to play, uh, take the number four, uh, for this, uh, market or this, uh, you know, whatever the market one. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Let's roll again. Okay. Um, and for those that were wondering, Bruno laid down off screen for his mid evening nap. <laughs> Dinner time was oh slow grilled chuck. Nice. That sounds good, Chris. Thank you for joining us. Bonza Nighter. Yeah, Bonza Nighter. Um, I'm making meatloaf. Hey, we just had meatloaf the other day. Dinner, short ribs and beans. Yes. Thank you, Twin Flower. Twin Flower is so generous. Appreciate it. Yeah, hey, I know all about those webcams. That's why we're, folks, we're literally streaming with an old laptop and a, a smartphone right now, like an old phone. And it is what it is. We appreciate you hanging out with this lower quality stuff, but people are just, webcams are just insane right now. So, uh, Lauren, you're up. I can't do anything, I think. Well, you can always trade uh, a die in for workers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, actually, I'll trade in both die for workers. How many do I get per, per die? Uh, two, unless you have a special ability. Okay, so I get four workers. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Okay, you got, oh, well, you just use them all, huh? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so I am going to, so I've got these two here. I can place this, no, I cannot, because I have the six. Darn it, okay. <laughs> I'm going to trade in one of these for workers. Lucio AB says, ah, the napping strategy. Very familiar with that one, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're so excited. We finally got emotes coming to you guys. I, I don't want to say too much, but yeah, they're going to be really cool. We're, we're super happy with them. Um, my beagle's on a 17 hour per day sleep panel. Oh my gosh. Um, so I am going to, it's number six. I'm going to take the castle. That's the end of my turn. Um, did we place this one? Number? This is our second turn this round, right? Yeah. This should so we have must been not here. Have. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now we roll again. Uh, six and a two for me. Yes. And that was a two for that one. So another good on Depot two. I'm very excited. Okay. Uh, so I rolled a five and a six. So the six completes one section of water. Oh, man. Okay. So Lauren gets uh, six plus six, 12 points, 60. And then 
with my five, I will place another water. Okay, and you get extra select goods from any one depot. There's a two and a five and a two and a four. And a four here and a three there. I'll take the the one four and the one three. Because I get two, right? Because I place two. What do you place? I place three? this one and then this one. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, like I thought, okay. Oh, which one was it? Uh, the four and the three, like the singles. The singles, okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Oh. oh, sorry. Rolling a rock. Thanks you. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it, my friend. Okay, so now I go with my two and a six. Um, I've got. Okay, tell you what, Lauren. To make up for this one over here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. So I'm I sort of screwed up a move earlier, folks. I'm gonna take the six, bump it down to a five. And replace the city hall that I shouldn't have gone there with this one instead. How's that, Lauren? Sure. So that when I place this city hall, I'm going to mark it like this. I won't get that power. I do get this power for the market. Immediately take one. Dang it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Uh, take one animals or shipped off from the board. Ooh. So I'm going to do that, but it's going to knock off one of my uh, thingies here. Ship. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me get the ship. Um, I'll take this ship here. And I'll knock off. Um, we'll tell you what, just to make it fair, I'll knock off that city hall that um, I did. Oh, okay. No, I shouldn't because I, I should be trying to place that one. So I'll knock off <gasps> this one instead. Okay. Twin Flower says, hope my internet holds up right now. Currently a thunderstorm. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're in Southern California. There's yeah, no such thing <laughs> as a thunderstorm right now. Thunderstorm, we don't know her. Yeah. Uh, oh, so now I've got my second action. Uh, <laughs> two, 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 two. Let me, ooh, 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 ooh. The people are betting on me to win. Uh oh, yeah, I, I'd probably. <laughs> I'd, it's a good bet, folks. Um, I'm gonna spend a worker, make this blue uh, one, so I can place my ship there, which allows me to get goods. I'm going to get this two and a five, and that's the end of my turn. Lauren, <laughs> let's roll again. How are you liking the game so far? The first time. Yeah, I like it. It's um, pretty smooth, but there's a ton of decisions, right? Yeah. Okay, I did a six and a four. And like with how complex the game looks, the turns go surprisingly fast. Yeah, yeah. I love games that are like this, Euro games that are complex, but yeah, it's like super easy to get into. Um, Book of Nerd says, I got a thousand channel points on Lauren to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris says, uh, Team Ruel, thank you. Uh, Room for this side. Don't let me check Norris down. I'm totally going to get Chuck Nor let Chuck Norris down. <laughs> what is. So that's going to make up. Thank you again for. I'm still. We were talking about the other, earlier. Like we're so blown away about that guest. The what was it? Um, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. She got it in like that. Rare. I drew that funky little. Yeah. Hand. <laughs> I also had never heard of that phrase, so there would have been absolutely really? no way. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I guess it's. I guess it shows my age. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Lauren. We've done that. Um, so I'm going to use my first six die to take the, 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 the Carpenter's Workshop from the Six Depot. Six Depot. Good night, Daryl with one R. Thank you. Uh, which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Nate, yeah, that was amazing. We're still talking about it. And then I'm going to use my worker to bump down my second six to a one. Okay. So I can place my mine. All right. Um, I've got a place. Oh, What's Wait, up? can I change my mind? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Rewind. <laughs> my one house thingy. Yeah. Um, okay, so I have two sixes. Took my worker back. Um, I'm going to use the carpenter's <laughs> workshop and actually finish a section. Okay. Um, so I immediately take one building, ground tile, from the depots and add it to the player's storage <laughs> space. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know what depots. What, what are those? It's a warehouse. Uh, city hall. Yeah. Uh, warehouse, city hall. Um, Are there any boarding houses? This is it a boarding it's house. The, mm, this is the Victory Point one. I know that one. These are the two Victory Point ones. What, what was the? Uh, this. Oh, one? oh, the bank. The bank. Yeah. Oh, I'll take the bank. Okay, this is the bank right here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That goes into my storage, mm -hmm. and I also completed the section. Dang it! Really? Yeah. Another one? Yeah. Shoot. How how big is it? Three. Three. That's six points plus this. Another 12 points for Lauren, up to 72. Wow, Lauren, if you lap me, that's going to be embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, the house rules that we get one cheat per game. <laughs> <laughs> we get one do-over per game. That, that's our... Well, oh, for this um, Bonsai Nader, uh, two-player game, we have a house rule where 
uh, we put out all the tiles like in a four player game. So we have more choices. We're not like totally restricted. Um, buy it was there. <laughs> if you are wondering, peanut butter or Oreos is superior Oreo. You know, I'm not really a big of an Oreo fan. Are you? Um, it it comes in in waves. Um, oh. recently I've been on an Oreo kick. Yeah, I don't. I didn't know they were a thing actually. And John is shocked as well. Bonsai, thank you. Um, mint Oreos, I do like the, the mint Oreos. Remind me of those grasshopper cookies. Oh, I I'm just now so. realizing that the peanut butter Oreos aren't peanut or Oreos dipped in peanut butter, but the <laughs> the actual actual thing, right? Huh. Oh man, learning something new every yeah, day. It, on it this. takes out the the step of needing to dip the Oreo. Yeah. Do you dip Oreos in peanut butter? No, but oh. they do on the Parent Trap. Oh, okay. Again, showing my age, I wait. I'm assuming it's the new parent trap. No, 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 no. The, the, the Lindsay Lohan one, yeah. Oh, that's the old. That's the new one. The old school one's like from the fifties. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Fried Oreos. I I have had fried Oreos. Yes, those. I, well, anything fried is missing. Uh, <laughs> psychish I am old. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! A uh, golden birthday ones. What the heck? But yeah, Oreo's been coming out with all these new flavors. I had no idea. They have some pretty funky ones. Wow. So peanut butter and regular Oreos, like a parent trap, is also bomb. So, yeah, I... Is there a huge difference? Oh, oh, did your phone die? Oh, my phone died. Oh, my gosh. Folks, my phone just died. So <laughs> you're going to have to look at us for the next 20, 25 minutes or so. I hope you don't <laughs> mind. Sorry, feel free to leave. But you know what? That's how it happens when you have a... Uh... Yeah, uh, Amanda's putting some links there. You know, feel free to donate and <laughs> help us get better equipment, folks. Uh, we're going to continue, though. Lauren, talk about cookies while I do my move off screen here. Oh, um, I had a friend that uh, was starting grad school. So she was uh, she had a, a going away party. And uh, for the snacks, she just brought uh, all of the weird flavors of Oreo. I can't remember what any of them were, but I think there was a pumpkin pie one. And yeah, but I haven't had the peanut butter one. And I'm curious if anyone out there has tried the the new funky flavors of Oreos. Okay, I have placed a victory point thing, so I got four points. And then the peanut I... butter cream is not as sweet as Oreo. Ooh, it's tiramisu, terrible. vanilla mousse. Wow, peanut butter Oreos versus peanut butter on Oreos is different flavors. The peanut butter cream is not as sweet as normal Oreo cream. Okay, so, so if you're trying to cut down on the sugar, the the already inside peanut butter Oreos is the way to go, it seems. <laughs> nice. Uh, so John brings up a great point. Now we can't backseat drive as Ruel takes his turns. Yeah, so <laughs> I just happened to let my phone die, right? It's like, oh, darn, you can't see the score. It was a tie. Um, Wait, how can you be eating Oreos and also trying to cut down on sugar? Uh, that's a fair point, but I mean, I think that's how <laughs> nice my thing. diets go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Lauren, you roll. So this is the last uh, turn here. I did the two and the three. The five two. goes here. Wow, I wish you guys could see the board. It looks great. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Um, Regular Oreos with peanut butter on them taste like Reese's Cup. Wow. Don't want the six. Yeah, I can honestly see I've never had uh, Oreo dipped in um, mm -hmm. peanut butter. We did buy some, so we call it, uh, in our house, we call it fun food. So today, <laughs> the, for our fun food, we bought uh, chocolate croissants, um, dark uh, dark chocolate sea salt caramels, and... Well, oh, I bought both flavors of Pocky. I got a strawberry Pocky. box and a chocolate box. Yep. Mrs. Gaviola, Michelle says you get you eat one layer at a time to reduce calories. True. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What is the Oh, beige someone called Nabisco, please. Yes. What's the base tile on two? Uh this is the victory point one. City No. Uh, City Hall? No, Watchtower. Oh, oh. Uh well, I... I'm still learning so much about this stuff. Look at the s'more Oreos. Oh yeah, I've had the s'mores one. Peanut butter and chocolate pie. Oh my gosh. I didn't know this was like a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So yeah, today on um, our food uh, channel here, <laughs> we're just going to be talking about snacks and fun foods, folks, while Lauren and I continue our Castles of Burgundy game off camera uh, because someone's phone died. What? What is this thing? Which one? Oh, it's the bank. The bank. Okay, yeah. so I used my, my two die 
for the bank. So I take two silverlings, mm -hmm. which are these things that look like rocks. And then um, with my six die, I don't think I can do anything. So I will just turn this in for two more workers. Okay. All right. So it's my go. Um, I'm going to place. Oh, so I still owe you for that city hall that I, I messed up. So I'm going to do my my redo of the, excuse me, city hall. There was a comment that said, my fun food is cotton candy grapes. And I was going to say, hey, my mom's been eating a lot of those. But it, it was her. The <laughs> cotton candy grapes, same time, the same thing for me. First time I ever had them. They're amazing, folks. Highly recommend. Yes, John, they do taste like cotton candy. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy good. Uh, I'm going to go with, oh my gosh, Lauren, what am I going to get here? I, I can't get that. Oh, I can do that. No, I can't. Darn it. You guys could only see what I'm doing. Um, oh, I can do this. I am going to take uh, this. I can bump my number down because of this special tile. So the two becomes a one. What are gr gr grapples? Grapples? That goes there. Oh, uh, the grape flavored apples. I didn't know those existed. Oh, and I can't do that. Darn it. I can get another. Oh, man. This sucks. Okay. What does the church do for me? Church are, the, are the grapples, grapples, like a hybrid apple grape? Or are they just grapes that... Okay. I'll spend these two like to get. Uh, oh, oh, they I'm aren't around anymore. Too. Interesting. Like a, a agricultural accident. I'll get this for worker dice. Grape infused apples. Grape infused apples. Wow, I don't think I've had those. Okay, so my turn's done. You didn't miss a thing, folks. I suck. Um, we are in the next phase. Lauren, oh. you will continue. Okay. Oh, how many blue? Um, how many blue tiles do you have down? I should have been moving you up on the thing here. Blue, I have four. <laughs> okay, oh. you're <here> <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah, I have two. So there. Okay. Are gushers still a thing? Yes, I believe so. As are the fruit by the foot or the the fruit roll ups with the tongue tattoos. I saw those come back recently. <laughs> uh, pink lady in Rome. Yeah, apples love apples. What are your favorite apples, folks? We have a pink lady in Rome fan. I'm a big fan of the old. Uh, was it Fuji's? I love Fuji's. Um, Grape infused uh, real biology or love crafty and fiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Honey Chris, there, Uncle Gramps. Thank you. Honey Chris are good. Granny Smith, perfect. Uh, apples for fives. Thank you so much, uh, John. Pink lady were mine, but mostly eat oranges now, huh? I've been eating a lot of oranges too. Our farmer's market has really good cara cara oranges. Cara cara really is really good. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Slackfish, nice. One. Uh, one. Okay, so this goes in one spot. And then a three and a two. Oh, do we not need to replace everything? Oh, yeah, yeah. Duh. What are we doing? Okay. Oh, they can't see the board. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're resetting the board. Uh, you guys can't see this magical part of the show. Um, oh. But we do thank you guys for hanging out, especially after the uh, foam died out. This is, this is great. Uh, there's that. Those stay on there. These come off. You know what? Since the phone died, do you want to move the board? Yeah. Here? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> you guys, they can't see anything? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to move the board since, okay. Right now the score is 72 to 33, okay. <laughs> I don't mind dropping the uh, point scoring. <laughs> Everyone okay. gets a participation yeah, trophy. Fu <laughs> Fuji apples. There you go. Yeah. Cash flow, Yeah. High five. Uh, ambrosias. I don't know if I, have I had an ambrosia? I, I don't think I have. No, I either. Don't. Um, speaking of hybrid fruit, our farmer's market also had, oh my gosh, I'm putting them face down again. Our farmer's market had pluots, and those have been really good, really oh, sweet, Oh, yeah, too. pluots. Radio play-by-play, -play, yeah. Red Delicious are, in fact, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Get most of my apple flavor. These are ciders, yes, very nice. I do need to try them. Thank you. Plum, kumquats, no. Pluots are... Plums, Plums and apricots. Apricots, yeah, very good, good stuff. They were nice and juicy. The yellows go here. Oh, you got the yellow. 
and then a brown, which is over here, and then a gray one, which is here, and another blue one, which is here. Yeah, all the blue gray ones here. Oh, I get uh, silverlings from my mines. So yeah. do, you, do you get it? You got uh, one for mine too. Oh, oh. Um, and then I need a blue and a dark green. Wow, Virginia, you can get strawberry cider. Huh. Oh, and then what's the gray one? A uh, gray one's oh, here. Yeah. Mines. And All good. Blue here okay. and blue here. All right. Okay. Yeah. And then, so you already rolled uh, the oh, first yeah. one. Three and a two. You uh, put the one, two. Okay. Yeah. I got a one and a five. Okay. Um, what does this black dot mean? Oh, that's not supposed to be there. That's, oh. It's and actually, it's a reminder that we need to place in the black market. The black dots are black market tiles. Oh, okay. Yeah, and again, they're just randomly placed. Can you put three more of those there, please? Yeah. Thank you. Two, Love using Fiji apples to make applesauce. Oh, I haven't had a Fiji in a while. There's a huge fig tree that grows beside my building. So many are growing on it. Just when, yeah, figs are great. Yeah. Slackfish, thank you so much. Becca is amazing. She's again, she's a pro, and she's just just a cool person. Like I, you know, I asked her to do the show. She said in a heartbeat, yes, and. You know, Becca, she's so just amazing what she does. Just have her on the stream and, you know, makes makes me look good, right? It's just, she's awesome, 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 awesome. We go apple picking in the fall. I've always wanted to go apple picking. I've never done that before. You went, you know, it wasn't apple picking. You peach least, picking. Peach picking. Lauren went peach picking uh, earlier this year. That was last year already. It's was it last hard. year? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Wow. Okay. Uh, but your I, turn. I'm done with my turn, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like her energy, but I really like your conversations. Thank you uh, for saying that, Slackfish. Um, I have fun doing those top threes, threes. And I also, there's a top three at three coming this Sunday. Super special guests. Uh, guests. I, I will sort of spoil it. Guests more than one. Um, so uh, join me on Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific as part of Virtual Gaming Con. Um, Chris says, you know your house. Our house is always open to Gabriel. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. The Gaviola family, meaning everyone in chat. Let's all go to Chris. <laughs> I just kidding, Chris. Great. Let's raid in real life. Uh, so I'm going to go uh, one and five. Um, I still owe you for that um, city hall thing. So I'm going to go. No, didn't you? Did I? I don't know what I did. Okay, so I'll do this one here. Uh, that is the church. What do I do with the church? Where's my cheat sheet? Good the out. church is immediately take one castle, mine, or knowledge tile from the board and add it to player's storage space. Okay, I'll take a knowledge then. Let's do um, anywhere here. I'll do this one. Okay, and my second one, I'm going to do this castle. Finally gets a space on. So three plus four is a measly seven points. 40. This is terrible. I I don't know why I'm doing so badly poorly at this game. I've I've I know I've scored 200 points in this game. I'm at 40 right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh <laughs> just a bunch of people in the front yard yelling raid and throwing <laughs> emotes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh Chris, uh VGC has been good teaching me. Hey, I'm gonna teach uh, Miyabi tomorrow, folks. If you guys are in VGC. Um, look me up in the Discord. I'm just going to randomly show up at some time, and we're going to play some. I'm going to teach some Miyabi. I, I'm just I'm loving this idea of a real life rate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so my second one. Um, what did I do? I did five. Yes, I'm done. Okay. Roll them dice. Three and a one for me. Uh, three and six for me, and then a one for the good. Yeah. So this one has a six and a four now. Okay. Right in my. <laughs> So I'm gonna use my three. I'm gonna add, or I'm gonna take my three, use a worker, make it a four. Throwable emote. Someone get on that, please. That's awesome. Oh, succulent, nice. Yes. I'm gonna be playing succulent. Um, we're live streaming a game with uh, the Renegade crew. It's gonna be 7 a.m. my time, so that's Sunday. Yikes. Uh, Chris, I think Miyabi. I'm I'm gonna show up. Probably I've got meetings until like 11, so I'll probably just drop in around lunchtime, and I'm gonna do like a. Go on the open like a open gaming table and just set it up real quick and then do it for like an hour and a half or so. Immediately add one tile from players' storage spaces to. Oh shoot! Yeah, you want to take that back and save it? Yeah, that, that's a good one to save. I thought it was something else. Okay, so one six. Okay, I'm gonna take this other blue tile. Okay. 
Hey, did I ever get my points for... I, I completed this one. Five. That's 15. I never... Okay, so I completed this one. 15. Uh, and we are on level... There, so 19 points. I totally forgot to give me 19 points. So, okay. At least I made it past 50. <laughs> um, it's my turn now? Yeah. And uh, on the topic of this real-life raid, uh, Sass Queen Makeup is suggesting Nick and Mike pillows. <laughs> nice. I'd buy one. I would buy one. Okay, I'm going to do a one to place this knowledge tile here. And that knowledge tile, what do I get for that? That is a little arrow thingy with the other thingy. Um, get one worker tile whenever I take the cell action. Okay, so I've got a one. What did I just do? That was... Oh, I, I placed that top. Okay, and I got my points. Um, so now I've got a three in a building. Slackfish says, I know that when I'm teaching a game, I spend a lot of time thinking about whether the other people at the table are enjoying themselves and whether I can make their experience better. Nice. And I think that as a result, I'm thinking about the game less. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Multitasking. Yeah. Cheer in the. Thanks for the cheer and gifts of an anonymous gifter. Thank you. So nice. Again, we're um, obviously we're new to Twitch. I mean, we have a dead camera and <laughs> we're, we're just hanging out. But I really appreciate you guys. It's so nice that you guys are all hanging out and and honest gifters and everything. It's so cool here. Um, we are done with this turn, uh, Lauren. Let's roll another. I've got a two and a two. Uh, Don't you roll two? Then? Two. So this goes two. And you're first. Okay, so I'm going to use my worker to bump the six to a one and place my final water um, thingy. So I completed another section. Nice. Um, so it's a section of three tiles. Which is six points. Yeah. And so 10 points for Lauren, 82. You've completed all the blues. So you get this. Uh, we. Two player game with the, the smallest one, so five points. I get five points. Yeah. <laughs> um, do they count now or later? Um, they'll do it later. Okay. Um, Actually, let's do it now. Oh. Do it now. And go ahead and flip it over. So five more. So you're at eighty-seven. And then um, I use that one. So I'll, I will turn to the four. Um, oh, what's this one? I probably put this upside down. That is the bank. Um. Ooh. <laughs> Slackfish. I'm the Slackfish says I'm team dead camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. Oh, that's too funny. Um this is a Hobbit Bites, thank you. Castle's mine and my wife's favorite game. Which other Stefan Fell games are just as good? Uh Trajan Forum. Um I haven't tried I haven't played Forum yet. I have played what was the other Carpe Diem was really good. Um, I like Notre Dame. Um, yeah, there's a bunch. Actually, someone was talking about the game table earlier. Uh, Daniel, he's a huge Stefan Bell fan. He would, to me, he, that's the guy I want to talk to and find out about um, games. I'm confused. Trajan is supposed to be really good. Yeah. So I just put down a warehouse, uh -huh. and it says immediately sell one kind of goods from storage without using a die as, as like perform a selling action. Oh, it's a little wor tricky. So basically, you put the warehouse down. Uh -huh. You get to sell. You get like either a six, a four, or a three. Oh. And you sell it. Okay, so I'll sell both of my threes? Yep. So you get um, two points each. That's four points. So Lauren is at 91. And he has Silverlink. Oh, okay. Just one. Cool, cool? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, Trajan and Moncala, uh, Moncala ish. Um, I've been getting down some Moncala on my Switch. Nice. Old school. <laughs> Everyone's all about that cheer uh, dead camera. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what am I going to do, Lauren? I've got a two and a two. I need to do this. So first, I again, I totally forgot. I got all the brown ones. So that is this here. Uh, five points. So I'm making up all the points I'm forgetting about, folks. So 64. Um, so that's done. I also had all my gray ones. So another five points. Wow. Okay. Now I don't feel so bad. 69. I'm going to place, uh, actually, with one of my dice, I am going to, where's that? 
Darn it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to use two silverlings to buy. That's a free action to buy the pigs. I'm going to use my two dice, number two die, to place the pigs here. I get three points, uh, so 72. I've completed that section, so that's one plus four is five points, 77. Um, and then I'm going to use this other die to grab two more workers. And that is the end of my turn. Actually, no, sorry, I'm not going to grab two workers. I already took my one. It's all good. I will take two workers. Got to say, getting really into board games recently, what I've enjoyed most are all the... Yes, Lucho, you're absolutely correct. I got in the hobby five years ago, and I found an amazing community. And to me, the whole Twitch thing is new. Like, I love the Twitch community. You guys are... I mean, all a lot of these people, a lot of these people here have been really nice and coming over to our channel, found them on other... Either Girls Game Shelf, the Brothers Murph, and so forth. Just such a great community. Yes. So thank you for hanging out with us, Lucho. Yeah, definitely one of the best things. So lucky to have agreed, agreed 100%. I'm very fortunate, again, I have my family that plays games, but, you know, hanging on Twitch, especially these days, with everything going on, it's it's amazing. Came through, through Renegade, nice. And, oh, I was supposed to roll my dice, sorry. Uh, okay. What'd you roll, one? Two, two, one. Two, two, one, so we're supposed to put this one. Ooh, the one's got a two, a four, and a six. Okay, so I'm going to use one worker uh, to bump one of my two agreed two, three board game nerds are the best well most start yeah i agreed with that too hey you were front page on bgg on oh oh was i oh it was probably for becca's the thing about becca huh thanks mm -hmm. slackfish twitch is cool and smaller community gets a little crazy in giant ones agreed bunch of meeples power rangers came in the mail today nice Hey, Book of Nerds, can you talk about that podcast that has reviews that are in five-minute chunks? I don't know if I heard about that yet. <laughs> uh, was it my turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I finished another section. Dang it. I mean, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> wait, these are supposed to go there. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this fiber, use a worker to make it a four. Slackfish says, no, just your regular 730 stream was in their homepage window. Three. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. It's great. Uh, so I've completed the yellow section. It's six plus four for another 10, 87. Hey, I'm actually catching up. Whoa, that was so fast. Yeah, it's because I forgot to get, uh, get those points there. Um, now I'm going to use... I feel like I should buy that blue one there. Oh, I forgot to add my my other section. Okay. So uh, I get six oh, points yeah. and then four, so ten. Yep. Nice. One oh one. Um, what do I want to do here? Oh boy. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna use my final one to get this mm -hmm. um, blue. Actually, boat. yeah, go ahead. I finished this like beigey section. Oh wait, no, I didn't. no, I didn't. Never mind, never mind. No, I'm imagining things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's uh, continue. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, ta I talked to Aldi and Lincoln recently. Yeah, they're good guys. They they we we had a nice little chat uh, after uh, game night. Uh, team dead camera. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you, uh, Whisper Panda. Yeah, Amanda will uh, take it out. Chris, thank you for that. The Five by it is a bi weekly podcast with short reviews on it. Uh, it's a one, right? Uh -huh. Final turn of the round. We have this one in another phase. Took a break from games for a while. It really helps when you have a salary job. <laughs> nice, Hobbit. Getting back into it now. Yes, welcome back. Uh, I finish uh, this green section as well as the light greens. Wow. There. Okay. So first score this. It's one. One and then four. So, so five. five. Oh, by the way, you should have the hundred token for your hundred point. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yep. And then you scored all the animals. Uh -huh. uh, oh, oh, I didn't score the pigs. So that's another four. Oh, plus two. So. Okay. Uh, you've gotten all the animals, so you get five more points for this. All right. Well done, Lauren. All right. Hey, yeah, this is great. Um, you're done, right? 
Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to put... Oh, actually, no. That was my <laughs> concern. Uh, what is this blue thing? Warehouse. Um, mm, I'll just take this one. Okay. All right. I'm going to go with this six. I'm going to place my boat here. I've completed this section as three points plus 4.7 points. So I'm at uh, 94. And then I'm going to use, uh, oh, I scored that. I get to take goods from something. Um, I will take two, four, two, four. Man, this is all on here. Yeah. We're going to go here then. And I'll take, yeah, I'll take these here. So I'll put the two here and, uh, one here. I'll dump those. Ruel has 94. I have 117. Yeah. Lauren's uh, way up. That was more the prize. I keep the same. Made Georgia. up a huge deficit, though. Um, so my other six, I can place. No, I can't. Yeah, I can place. This was the city Ooh. hall uh, that I'm not going to take the power for. So I go here. I place it. Okay. So I made up the city hall. Screw up from earlier. We can continue. Hey, we're in the last phase, folks. This is it. Uh, let's clear out the table. And I think there's a new viewer, uh, Palakiko. Palakiko, thank you for hanging out. Yay. As Slackfish would say, noise. <laughs> and Book of Nerds said, nice. Hello, Palakiko. Oh, it's Francis. That's our nephew, Francis. You're oh, Francis. hi, Francis. Hi, Francis. <laughs> it's just Francis. <laughs> thank you, Francis. Um, okay, so these come off the board. We're in the final round. Our uh, my camera went dead, uh, Francis. So <laughs> that's why you can't see the board. Um, nothing but the highest quality of streams for everyone here. Um, so we're in the final round of Castles of Burgundy, a classic uh, Euro game. And it's funny I say classic. It's only been it's been less than ten years, I think. But I think a lot of people, we all believe it's a classic for a reason. It's smooth. It's it's a thinky game, but it, the turns, like Lauren was saying, go by really quickly. Um, make us happen, I believe in you. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Yeah, he was on Team Ruel from the start. Um, brown one goes here. Brown one goes there. A couple of boats need to go on board. Doom, doom, doom. A gray one for there, and then a yellow one there. And a blue one. And a blue one there. There's a blue. Thank you. Uh, there's a yellow. And then we also, oh, that should be a gray. Oops. Oh. This yellow gray one right here. And then we do the uh, black market. I was there. A lot of pressure, yes. A lot of pressure because there's dead camera here. <laughs> oh my God. It's funny because, oh, wait. So we also get um, silverlings so I get for the mines. Slackfish says, hashtag Team Lauren. All right. Okay. We good? Gruel did just make up like a 50 point deficit though. That, that was, yeah, at least I'm getting close to 100. I, I was like, the way I was looking, I was like, how can I not score 100? Like, okay. Uh, so, final phase, final uh, turns in the game. Uh, Lauren is, oh, how many? I have one, two, three boats. So, I should be here. And you're all the way here, anyways. So, okay. Nervous now, yes. I've got a one and three. This goes to two. Yep. Um, we've got a two and a three. Um, I will play, I'll use this three to put a bank. So I immediately take two silverlings from the general supply. And then I will use the two. <laughs> Bruno's totally crashed out, folks. Keep it down. <laughs> and I'll take... Carpenter's Workshop. Okay. I've been totally missing on some of the yellow abilities, I think. Uh, are you done? Uh, yeah. I was hoping to take your time. Charity Board Gamer says, <laughs> hey, everyone got a jet. Love you all and hope that everyone Bye, Chris. has a good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Sounds good. Oh. Bruno fell asleep. Well, it looked like he wanted to leave, mm -hmm. but he, for some reason he didn't paw at the door. Um, <laughs> so we didn't really know, but he fell asleep right next to the door. I'm selling goods. So I'm making this a two. I sell three goods at, at six victory points. Uh, six victory points. I'm at, hey, I finally made 100. Yay. All right. 
And with that, I get a silverling. And thanks to the yellow tile that I just remembered I had, I also get a worker. And then with my, the number one die, I am going to, oh, tell you what, I'm going to do this. I am going to grab, this is the church. What the heck does the church do again? Uh, church is, we're doing Oh, must have Bruno must have known that wannabe Kiwi sent scratches in love. He was just waiting <laughs> to receive them when we're done. Ah, very true. Okay, so I'm gonna spend two silverlings to get a black market tile, and then with my die here, I'm gonna bump this up. Oh, uh, that was supposed to be there to a two, so I can place this here, and that is the church, which allows me to take a castle mine or knowledge tile from the board and add it to my storage space so i'm going to take this one here add it to the storage space slackfish asks does bruno falling asleep mean that for sure you're playing a thinky euro <laughs> yeah bruno thinks the game is dry and there's no fee <laughs> 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 all right that's it we're starting a review channel for <laughs> bruno pug <laughs> pug board game reviews <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay uh lauren let's go to the next round we've got four more turns folks uh i've rolled a two and a six Two. Two. Oh, two, two, five. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Oh, maybe I'll use this to go here. So, what is this? Carpenter's Workshop. Oh, done. Immediately take one building from one of the depots and add it to player storage space. Dang it. Nice. What do I want? Hashtag, what would keep Bruno awake? Oh, um, very <laughs> good few question. Well, not, not many, yeah. Actually, the thing that wakes up Bruno is when Lauren wakes up. That That's her buddy right there. <laughs> he hears Lauren wake up, zoom straight to her room. Uh, belly rubs puts him, does he sleep? He sleeps during belly rubs, huh? Yeah, like it's really relaxing for yeah, him. Yeah, he loves belly rubs. Jump a lot, yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate it, my friend. First time watcher, we are playing Castles of Burgundy. My camera died. So you just get to watch uh, me and Lauren sort of hang out, play Castles of Burgundy without actually seeing the game. But everyone's been really kind, and we're just hanging out talking about food, pugs. Uh, what else have we been talking about? Um, in-person raids and apples. Yes, in-person raids and apples. Yeah. Okay. My time's done. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, done? Yeah. All right. I've got a two and a six, which I'm going to buy um one of these here i want to buy from the black market taking this building here and then with my other one i want to buy another thing <laughs> they say dogs are colorblind but it doesn't matter when you're playing castles of burgundy <laughs> so many dull shades <laughs> <Agreed. laughs> uh wow 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 what's this building that i just got this is the warehouse <laughs> yeah i i still love this idea of in real life raise <laughs> we got to make it happen uh, is this the city hall yeah i'll take i'm gonna I take another free action here and then now i can take one of these dice uh, i'm gonna do this one for two workers one, two. We're going to have tables in the rating game, so it's so funny. And then with this one, I'm going to bump this down to a five, so I get rid of that worker. And the five, this is going to be City Hall. Nope, can't do it. i got to put this one here. Uh, this is the warehouse. So I immediately sell one of my um, goods, like I roll that dice. So this, I'm selling two goods for four points, a silverling, and I get a bonus worker because of my tile. Uh, four points. So I'm at 104 now. Finally, thank you. Yeah. Hey, Daryl. Thanks uh, for coming back. You walked your dog. Yes. This camera died. It's my uh, smartphone, folks. Uh, <laughs> just random meeples you carry in your pockets, maybe dice too. <laughs> oh, this worked out perfectly. Okay. Take this. Oh, we're rolling, right? Oh, I already rolled. Oh, you rolled. Okay. Oh shoot. You know what? Huh. I put two uh, buildings. Oh, okay, the it, building. we're even then. Okay. It's all good. Um, metal coins, metal oreos. Ouch. 
What did I do? I don't know how we got talking about metal Two. Oreos, but oh, because of that. Okay. This <laughs> three. Hospital complete, yes. Six. Five. I'll bump this down to five. Oh, I forgot about these points. Uh, six points plus we're in the final, so eight more points for that. Because I completed my one of my building sections here. Um, Lauren, I have completed all the buildings, in fact. Oh, are you serious? That's yeah. one tile yeah, away. Yeah, that was our last turn. So I get the five pointer here. So oh. another five points. Hey, folks, we just tied. We're Whoa. both at 117. Okay. Uh, it's Lauren's turn. I, I just went. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Please throw Oreos in my general direction. <laughs> so while Lauren checks out chat, I'm going to go. I've got a four. Let us bump that. To a hmm, three or five. I'm thinking for in, in real life raids, those um, party eggs, three. where when you like do that to people's heads, all the confetti comes out. But and then for this one, I'm going to like use my no, special move to get this card. That you got raided, you know? Okay, that's it for my turn. Yeah. Final two turns of the game, folks. Uh, Amanda, thank you. Uh, Amanda Raider, she is awesome. She's our moderator here uh, tonight and every night. Um, she's posted some links there. Please check them out when you can. Dorito flavored Oreos. Okay, I'm passing on that. Um, actually, what am I saying? I, I would totally try it. <laughs> uh, five and three. Got a one and a three. Okay. And you, oh, you replaced and then, that? Yeah. Okay. Come so. on. Yes, that's what I needed. Okay. So um, I've now completed a section with one, two, three, four, five. So it's 15 points plus, plus two, two, so 17. Dang, Lauren with a 17 pointer near the end. Oh. Nice one, Lauren. Oh. What's 17 plus 17? 34? 34, yeah. 134 for Lauren. And then I completed all of my buildings. Wow. Okay. Uh, all the buildings, so you get two points. Woo. <laughs> and then for my second turn, um, I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. I didn't think that far ahead. I don't need anything there, so maybe I'll use my last worker. Um, wait, this is our last turn. One more turn after this. I don't know what to do. Um, I guess I can try to get these thingies. Okay, so I'll subtract here and get the dark green castle. Okay. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm going to... Go to the black market, and purchase this tile. I'm going to use the number three die to place this tile. I've completed this yellow section. Three is six plus this round is two, eight points, 25. I've completed all the yellows, so I get second place. Oh, no, first place, five points. Yay. So 30. Uh, I have a number five now. Um, can I place this? Uh, can I place this? No. Oh, I do have a worker I can use. Um, or do I want to grab one of these tiles? I think I want to grab one of these tiles. What do we have out there? We have this. Uh, pigs. How many pigs are there? Three pigs. There's four chickens. Okay. My ability here lets me put plus one for free. I'm going to take the chickens. All right, folks. Last turn. I know it's been riveting. I appreciate you watching without the camera here. But hey. Y'all are gamers. You, you understand these things, right? Uh, about, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, hey, Slackfish, everybody. Our Family Plays Games is going to be on Good Morning America tomorrow morning. I don't know exactly what time, but yeah, Our Family Plays Games. I don't know if you watch that YouTube channel. Uh, it's just an African-American family that plays board games. They're really just super friendly and super, like, just they love games. Good Morning America is going to have them tomorrow. That's so cool. Yeah, totally, totally amazing. Uh, Amanda says, yeah, we can play in our minds, definitely. <laughs> yes. Really, really cool. We, I, I can't wait to watch them. I don't know what time Good Morning America is in your neck of the woods. I'll, I'll probably just wait for the video or video highlights, but we'll see. I don't usually watch that show. Uh, yeah, keep nerds. Uh, oh, where, did I roll? Uh, no. I don't know. There it is. Four and four again. Jeez. Stuck. I can't do anything with this last die. Okay. Can't sell anything or sell the bids or anything? No. I don't know. No, can't bump it down. Mm -mm, I don't have any more workers. Set your TiVos, people. Yes. 
Yes, there's uh, there's their YouTube. Thank you, Amanda. Um, can't do anything, huh, Lauren? Nope, I don't think so. You gotta be able to do something. I mean, I can take a tile, but I can't do anything with that tile. You can take a yellow one, right? But I can't place it. Oh, you don't have any workers, huh? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Grab workers because for every two workers, you get uh, one point. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is our final turn. Uh, you see July 3rd for Animal Crossing. Good morning, America from... Thank you, Michelle. That's Hey, my wife is hanging out in chat. Uh, that's the time. Good morning, America. Okay. Uh, oh, so my final turn, four and a four. So I'm going to place uh, some chickens. Spot number four. So that is four points. Uh, 34. And then with my other four die, I'm going to place, what is this building? The city hall? Uh, got it. I keep getting all these city halls. So four, I get to place another, uh, which I don't have. Okay. That's the end. Okay. We've reached the end of the game, folks. Now we uh, count up extra bonus points. One point for each silverling. I have one. I have. Are you at 36? Yeah, 136. I'm one point behind Lauren right now. Um. John's going to set his uh, VCR back up. Nice. And eight. Eight? Four. Four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. He had eight, really? Nice. Uh, one, point each, one point for every two worker tiles. I only have one worker tile. I have two. Okay. One more point. And then uh, bonus tiles, knowledge. Uh, well, we already scored these bonus tiles, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Knowledge end game. Okay. Do you have any unsold goods? Yes. I have one, so I got one point for you. Got one point for every unsold. I have four. Okay. Now for the knowledge tiles. This is where the points come in. Um, anything that has victory points on the yellow tiles, you'll get those. Oh, I don't have any yellow tiles. Oh, this might be the game, Lauren. So I get four points for every. Is this city hall or? Dang it! Did I get the wrong one? Number twenty-two is. Uh, four points for every of these buildings, which are, what are these called? Uh, not the church. What's the stupid, all oh, the bank. So how many banks do I have? <laughs> Book of Nerds says, I'm going to reuse my first communion too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love John. Oh, so I just woke up right now. Sorry, right now. Uh, so I got four points for this one. So 40, and then I get four points for every good that I sold. One, two, three, four, five, how much is this? Three, six, nine points. So four, we're tied right now. Oh my God, did we tie? We both had, we both got 149. <laughs> tiebreaker, anyone know the tiebreaker? Wow, uh, tiebreaker, here we go. I hope you didn't. Okay, let's see. Tiebreaker. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we tied. I've never tied this game. <laughs> Panda says the uh, book and urchin <laughs> record the video of your bird. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, brutal. What is the tiebreaker? This is crazy. The player who, if in the case of a tie, the winning player is the tied player with the fewest empty estate spaces. How many empty? Ten. Okay, and that's the game, folks. Uh, <laughs> really, you had ten? Yeah. I had eleven. <laughs> Lauren wins by one on the tie break by empty. Let me just check that out. Yeah, the player in the case of tie, the winning player is a tie player with the fewest empty. She had ten empties. I had eleven. Lauren, nice <laughs> wow, folks, thank you for hanging out. Congratulations, Lauren. GG, good game. I want to thank everyone in the chat for hanging out. You guys are troopers. Like we lost this camera like half an hour ago and we're still hanging out uh, chatting. And yeah, tiebreaker is the one. Oh, no, wait, what? The tiebreaker is the first one to do the dishes. Uh-oh. I don't want to win that bad. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. We love you. We love you. Can't see the boards. We'll trust that uh, you actually played the game we're just playing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of this. No one really cares how the game is going. That's true. Good house rule, Mrs. G. Hey, good night from Toronto. Thank you, Toronto, for hanging out. Appreciate it. Folks, that's it for tonight. 
This has been Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. My stepdaughter, Lauren. We play a different game here every uh, weeknight, 7.30 Pacific. Um, tomorrow, we I'm actually going to be on the game night stream on BGG. And I don't know if I'm going to have time to come here, but we'll, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to charge my phone and get this uh, <laughs> camera going again. But again, we want to thank you for hanging out with us. Um, tomorrow, we are I'm also going to be on uh, Virtual Game Con uh, teaching uh, Miyabi. Uh, what is it? If we could, uh, if we can't if we see the board, they definitely would not tie LOL. <laughs> uh, There's another Canadian, fellow Canadian. Yes, this is awesome. I got to go play some bird <laughs> Book of Nerds. Book of Nerds also does a great live stream every Tuesday at 3 p.m. I'm joining him as well, uh, 3 p.m. on Tuesday for Board in East L.A., so please check that out. Prixie, thank you. Good night, my friend. Till next time, we got anything to talk about, Lauren? Um, no, besides it looks like food? Bruno's ready to go to bed. <laughs> Bruno's, Bruno's crashed out, so we're going to take him to the other room so he can sleep. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you, friends. We'll see you next time. All right, see you at the tabletop. Bye. Bye.